Week 19 of the fantasy basketball season, and with the deadline here today in most fantasy leagues, here's a few guards I look like and trade for this week. The first guy, Gary Trent Jr., the Toronto Raptors. So Trent Jr., he's been up and down this season here, and he's a streaky guy, no doubt about it, but still solid numbers, 18.4 points a game, 2.6 rebounds, 1.6 assists, 1.6 steals, 2.7 threes, and 43% from the field, but on the last couple, for the last few weeks here, 15.8 a game. Three rebounds, 1.8 assists, one and a half steals, 3.3 threes, and 33% from the field. So right here, Gary Trent, we know he's a streaky player. We know he's a scorer and a good three-point shooter. And that's what he does is for this Toronto Raptor team of fantasy owners. He'll shoot the three ball and get things going. But like I said, over the last couple weeks here, the numbers are down just a bit. And right now, I don't think you got to give up much to get Gary Trent. If you need three-point shooting... And a pure scorer, February 25th at Detroit, 19 points, a rebound, four assists, two steals, four threes, 35% from the field. February 26th at the Cavs, seven points, six rebounds, an assist, the three, 15% from the field. And February 28th versus the Bulls, 19 points, five rebounds, an assist, two steals, five threes, and 46% from the field. So Gary Trent here, we know he can score the basketball. We know he'll give you the three-point shooting. He don't do much besides rebounding in other categories. But definitely a guy that can help own And right now, while the numbers have dropped a bit, this will be a time to go out there and get him. The next guy's Jalen Brunson of the New York Knicks. So a great first season for Jalen Brunson with this New York Knicks team. But he was playing out of his mind right before the All-Star break. And he was just stumped of not making the team on the season. 23.6 points a game. 3.6 rebounds, 6.2 assists. 1.8 threes and 47% from the field. But the last few weeks, like I said, the numbers have dropped. A bit for Brunson, 19 and a half a game, 4.8 rebounds, 5.5 assists, a 3 and 39% from the field, so the field goal efficiency's gone down. He struggled at the free throw line a little bit over the last couple games here. But he's a guy that I think he just has to catch that second win, that maybe fatigue is kicking in, playing major minutes and being one of the main men over here, him and Julius Randle with the New York Knicks. But he's still a talented guy, and he's also a guy that doesn't miss many games, if any games at all here is Jalen Brunson. So right now, Will be a time to go out there and get him while he's slumping from the field a little bit. February 24th is the Wizards. 13 points, 4 boards, 9 assists, a steal, 30% from the field. February 25th versus the Pelicans. 20 points, 2 boards, 5 assists, 3 threes, 38% from the field. And February 27th versus Celtics. 17 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal, 33% from the field. So right here, Jalen Brunson, like I said, he's putting up points for this New York Knicks team this season. But he's slumping right now, and right now, well, he's on a little bit of a down. This would be a time to go get him, because this guy's playing great basketball, like I said, this season here. And I think he's going to break out of this slump. And the Knicks have some big ball games coming up, and teams ahead of him in the standings, where they got to go out there, and he's got to put up some big games. So right now, this would be a time to go get him in the third and final guard. I look to buy and trade for this week is Steph Curry of the Golden State Warriors. So Curry, he's been in and out of the lineup this season with the lower leg injuries. And another monster year for him, 29.4 points a game, 6.3 rebounds, 6.4 assists, a steal, 4.9 threes a game, and 49% from the field. So Curry right now, his report's coming out. He's possibly coming back next week. And obviously with the deadline right here for fantasy owners, this is the time to go out there and get him. Definitely you're still going to have to pay a big price to get Steph Curry on your team, but obviously not a big price like you would have obviously early in the season when he was healthy. So Curry, he's going to give you the three ball. He's going to give you good rebounding, assisting, and he's going to give you top five, top ten numbers as long as he's healthy for the remainder of the season. So you still got to give up probably a two for one, but not top ten guys, I think, here to get Curry on your team. Maybe two top 20 guys, top 30 guys in a deal with Curry in and out of the lineup this season. And teams being frustrated owning Curry because like I said this happens for most seasons where he misses a decent amount of time he is Steph Curry but not right now with him returning next week and the last chance for owners to go out there and get him on their roster this will be the time to do it so that's a few guards I look to buy and trade for for week 19 of the fantasy basketball season with the deadline here today March 2nd on most fantasy weeks here